Hey guys, Model Rocks 321 is here today. This is another park flight. This is a different park. They're actually playing, uh, this is a disc golf park. You know, I got a couple of baseball fields, basketball court. Pretty nice park, um, but I'm gonna fly in this field right here. I'm surrounded by trees. Of course, we're gonna be doing all park flying stuff. I'm in the outfield of that baseball diamond right there and that baseball diamond right there. Then on the edge is all disc golf. So we're gonna be flying this one right here first. This is the Quinn Stars, the Estes kit. Skill level three, kind of all balsa design, kind of like a UFO type design. This is just a black um, paint on it right now, but I'm gonna hit it again with some silver. So this is just a you know, rough flight before the uh, final paint goes on it. So let's check it out. Okay, here we go, guys. We got the Quint Star going on a C60. Sky's clear. And we are going in five, four, three, two, one. There it go, and it's spinning, coming down, back with a spin. Pretty much right at the pad, very little wind, pretty cool. Pretty cool rocket by Estes, so that's number one in this park as we're doing park flyers these days, since I lost that field, but that was pretty nice. It was projected to go 125 feet, so that was pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, let's get the other two off. All right, next up we have the Quest Flying Saucer going on another C60 but this is actually the Quest the Quest C60 so I'm gonna see if it burns a little different than the SD's one um, so it's going on C60 like I said park flying subscribe to the channel model rockets 321 and we are going and five four three two one no go stop it yeah that's that's one of them ones, those igniters, you gotta hook them on both sides with the paper in between, so it did not go. Eh. All right guys, so I couldn't get my Quest Flying Saucer to go. The engine, that motor, their brand just would not ignite. So we're gonna get back to this, the Terraformer again. As you remember, I rebuilt it. Well, it had an explosion at a Kato. So it's all rebuilt now. There it is as it's rebuilt. Got another D12-0 in there, a newer one. The other one was an older one. So we should be going here. So we're gonna get this going. The terraformer going on a D12-0. And we are going in five, four, three, two, one. There he is way up there and he is spinning coming down. It's a breeze, so he's spinning, coming down kind of fast as he spins. That's pretty nice, check out the terraformer. At least it didn't explode this time, Kato like the other one. So very good, very good. Got the little park launch. And this will be the last flight for the day, guys, because I have no more motors with me anyway. I should have brought the extras. I gotta learn to bring more stuff with me. So we will debrief really quick on this video and we'll check you guys on another video. Be sure to use Estes discount, IN underscore three, two, one. Get yourself a nice discount on everything on Estes website. Check my website, new stuff to come. You just saw the terraformer all rebuilt and D12-0 worked. Pretty nice flight. My Rock 321. All right, model rock is going. Going in three, two, one. Parachute. There we go. We got two shoots. And there we go. Mercury little Joe coming home nice and slow. Right above the pads. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm not out of, here we go. Might come into some sunlight. Or into the sun, there we go. Nice and slow. Capsule still hanging on. I'm near the capsule so I'll film you. Touchdown of the Mercury and here we go. Touchdown of the capsule. Great flight. Another great flight. And here we go. Mercury capsule, home, safe and sound. And not too far away. Let's pick this guy up. And here we have the booster. And there we have the booster. Safe and sound. There we go. Nylon parachute. We have the boosters. So that's another great flight, really straight. Love this rocket. This is a scratch built version. 
You can get the Estes version, but I scratch built this way before they even start putting that out. I scratch built this by a guy by the name of Yitta Wu. These plans, I mean, this rocket was built from his plans. Worked out well. Another one down. Let's get it going. Out of Rocks 321, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Here we go. We got the Starship Vega going on a C65. And we are going in five, four, three, two, one. There it is on the C65. And parachute is out. Coming down over, it's nice and slow. Good deal. I lost it in the frame, I believe. Yeah, I lost it. Oh man, I don't see it. Is that it? Yeah, I lost it. Yeah, it should be in frame, I think, about right now. Sorry, guys, I lost the Vega in the frame. But as I get closer, we should still see it. Coming down nice and slow, though. Pretty cool. 18 inch parachute I switched it out I believe the original called for a 12 which that thing was coming out really fast but this is like nice and slow nice and slow the Starship Vega is coming home touching down directly in front of me gentle landing that was nice that was nice as long as there's no big breeze and use a bigger parachute, you should be good. So that was cool. Very nice flight. Here we go, coming up on the Vega. Gave me a little walk, not too bad. There he is, land down. There he is. Good touchdown. That was nice and gentle, so I'm not expecting. Yeah, there's nothing broken here. We are good. All, all three of those wing fins are good. Parachute, good, we are good. Excellent flight, excellent. We're here to do this one launch, stage these rockets and get out of here. It's gonna be 321 degrees today. <laughs> so <laughs> you'll see one flight and enjoy. Let's get this going. Smile Rock 321. Also, use the Estes discount, IN underscore 321. Go over there, shop, buy yourself a so long, put some stuff in the cart, put that code in, get a discount. Smile Rockets 3, 2, and 1. By the way, Mike's trying to cheat a little bit. His rocket's up a little bit higher, so if he if he, he's up a little bit higher, I'm just just saying, up a little bit higher. <laughs> yeah, but yours is you up there a good six inches. I'm down low. I'm way down here. He's way. He's already starting. He's already starting 100 feet in the air. So, <laughs> smile rock three two one. All right, here we go. We got the so long rockets. Range is clear. Sky is clear. Going in five, four. Three, two, one. All right, we got staging. Wow, way up there. Okay, here comes your, here comes the booster. All right, waiting on, all right. There's a puff of smoke. Wow, where is that? The boosters are down. All right, rocket, I do not, I see, I saw the puff. I don't see mine at all. I don't see nothing. Keep your eye on it. Got to know what direction and where. Wow. All right, the so long rockets are up. I heard that the fins are on the ground. I don't see my streamers. I don't see Mike's streamers. He has some flashy ones. They have reflective material on it. So you can keep an eye on that. I saw the puff of uh, pink right there, that cloud. Would they be on the ground by now? I think they both rockets cocked to the east. Uh, you know, usually there's design determines sometimes which way they go. Mm -hmm. Both of them went the same direction yeah. to the east, boosted, and then kept going. Yep. And I'm pretty sure, I'll bet we hit 3,000 feet, but they, wow. we lost sight of both of them. Yeah, so long, gone. they named it appropriately. So long, <laughs> yes. We have our um, fins, though. We do have our fin cans. Like the boot. We have 
See, he recovered yep. his, and I have mine. Yep, so. it got beat pretty good here. Yeah, There's lots of exhaust right. on the fin. Yeah. Motor still in. Yep. Crunched the fin here from the landing. Yeah, wow, mine had none of that. Mine was like, yeah, pretty, mine it was like a clean. Hard. Did yeah. your motor eject? Motor was in there. Okay. Motor's in. Yours in. Yeah, so that was good there. Motor was in. But so, yeah, yeah, that's all that's left of the so long. Yep. You have to build another one. For sure. That's this hobby, though, right? Yeah, you, you exactly. Can lose some stuff. <laughs> and we both lost altimeters. So, yep. yeah. you resigned. I was resigned to the fact that this we we're going to come out here and this could happen. Yeah, know. it could happen. Yeah, you got to yeah. know. Attention Rocketeers, for the very first time, you can get your hands on an exclusive set of Model Rocket trading cards by Model Rockets 321. These cards have been carefully created and represent a groundbreaking first in the world of rocketry with their glossy UV-coated finish. These collectibles are a must-have for anyone passionate about space and rocketry. This 12-card set includes detailed descriptions on the back of each card, plus three limited edition cards that will be vaulted after this release. Don't miss out. Secure your set right now by clicking the link in the bio. All right, it's debriefing time. You just witnessed two flights today. It was supposed to be three, but I cannot get the Quest motor lit. We will talk about that in a second. But I just want to show this um, controller right here. This is the controller I use. Um, I have another one of these brand new. Um, I had another one years ago that I got rid of, but these, I really, this is my favorite controller. Um, you know, it just takes somebody else to do it for you, where I think some um, people I know, they launch on their own, but they use the real simple controller, which makes sense. You can launch it probably using your foot or whatever. But this controller, um, it's a command launch controller. It takes two 7.2 volt batteries. I have a spool of cable here. You unwind, the batteries are in the back. It has this key and it beeps once you um, arm it, it lets you know you have continuity. And you can choose between 7.2 or 14.4. So you can select. I usually launch it on the full 14.4. I've been getting a little delay with some of the flights. So I think it's time to probably redo my solders on these cables. I'm not the greatest solder, so I have to redo these again. I clean them often. Just want to get more connection. I think some of the, yeah, I think I'm getting some, some not great connection here. So I'm going to have to probably cut and then rewire these. I may even put the old clips back on because these are the alligator clips, which are nice. But it just creates a little less surface, I think. I like the flat ones like Estes. It gives the igniter a little bit more, more surface. Now I'll wrap it around. Um, either that or I could keep these and just clip in and then wrap around at least once. Yeah, these are getting kind. It's almost time. I'm pretty sure it's time to do these. Look at that bin right there. So, but just wanted to show my controller since somebody had asked. I think it's a newcomer. I'm not, or maybe new to the hobby. Never seen one of these. These are the Pro Series controller. I believe it was North Coast Rocketry and Estes um, way back in the day. So, and I attach my key to the controller because I don't like a loose key. You can, you're supposed to put it on the rod, but I'm just, I don't put it on the rod. I leave it attached to the controller because if you don't, this thing get lost and then you have to figure something out. As far as your launch key so that's the controller now on to the launches well the first one i flew today i believe i flew the quinstar which is a kit by s it's a skill level three kit it's all balsa um here it is c6 float on c6 zero yeah it's pretty nice design skill skill level three like i said all balsa to build you had to glue all these pieces together it's not a really difficult build but definitely some experience will work and you have to do all these fillets between all the connecting points and um a pretty nice flyer. It went up there, you know, give a nice spin as it went up and, um, and kind of a spin when it came back down. Flew it on a C60. The last part you glue in was the motor mount, which was a 24 millimeter motor mount. I figure you could probably have a this fly on a 24 millimeter engine, like a D or something, but I just let everything standard and stock. So it flew, um, you know, without issue. Flew without issue. It says here, futuristic sci-fi design, skill level three. 150 feet. That seemed about right. Flies on a B60 or C60. Yeah, you can get away with a B, even in, um, with a C in small fields and stuff. I've launched at a different park um, in this video. So, and one thing I did notice there were two sets of instructions in here. They slipped two of them in there. But yeah, so not bad. This will be repainted. I'm going to be painting this silver. I'm not going to go for the red. I'm going to paint this silver. I just wanted to. It was flight day, so I'm just going to make sure I get this all done up with silver and probably, I don't know if the decals are even going to show now and they look like silver decals. I'll still put them on there. I'll see. I'll see. But yeah, the Quinstar. Um, so just doing some park flying stuff until I get to a big, big field to fly some. Well, one of my fields, I know I can get away with 
I'll probably get away with some D engines, D and E engines in that one park. Um, there's another park which has uh, twice the size field of that one. So we'll, I'm gonna check into some of this stuff. But for right now, just enjoying some park flights. Simple stuff, easy up and down. Really can't do any of my two stage stuff or even my boost gliders. I got you know my scissor wing transport I like to bring out once in a while. Go up there and that's a glide design. But that usually goes, it'll fly, but they arch over it because it's a B6, that two second delay, it'll usually pretty far away from you. So I don't want to risk them going in any kind of street or away from where I'm at or even in a tree, so. The Quinstar was the first one you saw. And then I brought the Terraformer back out. The one that had that Kato, that motor that exploded on me. This is a newer D12-0, which is so silly. I had a pack. I um, opened up the pack, and I could have had probably two flights of this. I left the other engine home. Like, it was so just dumb. Why would I? <laughs> I just, I had the pack. I just I opened it up. I loaded one up before we left. I could have just brought this, and I would have had at least two flights for you guys. But we will follow up and do this stuff again on a E12 here, and maybe even an E. I'm gonna probably get an e, E12, and I have an E12 right here actually. I'm gonna be getting some E motors out of this. So I just want to see the limits to this thing, and possibly even a night flight of this one with the glow kit. Yeah, you just do a little friction fit here. Yeah, so here's an E12. You can pop an E12 in there. Yeah, probably getting about they say leave a quarter. Yeah, that'll probably that should do me good too. That should be fine. That should be fine. So I may get a night launch out of this guy, I may put a um. Put the glow, I mean, put the light on there. If I get a couple more, a couple more of those lights, I could do one, two, and three, and that that would be pretty cool. So probably pop out for another um, nighttime launch or something. But yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. The terraformer it got blown apart. I just glued it all back. Um, had all that. That Kato was weird. Like I just don't like that Kato. I'm trying to understand what happened. Is it the vibration, the concussion that caused it all to blow apart? Because the motor case and the motor was fine. It went up. And then it just imploded, blew off, it blew it into three pieces, but the motor was fine. Like, it's just hard. Those things are kind of hard to understand. But this was a good motor. It was a newer pack. That one I have is a very old D12-0. It was gr the green label, the old school S, this green label, I believe. But where, where, where is it? Do I still have it here? I'm not sure if this is the one. Yeah, this, this is it? No, it's not it. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. I think I, I could have tossed it by now. Yeah, I think I tossed it. Anyway, it went pretty good. Um, nice flight, but some E12s, zeros. I have E12 right here. You know that'll be coming up a little, a little later. We'll we'll get something figured out with that. But the one that did not go, I was flying my Quest flying saucer, and I was going to be using the Quest C60, and it just would not light. Man, it would not go. Um, but the the way you light these, they're similar to um copperhead igniters. They go in, I'm sure these are black powder still. This cop, this night nighter go in. You have this little fold piece where you get your positive on one side and your negative on one side with this little paper disc. You stick it on and you fold it over and it exposes just that part of the igniter on each. Then you hook the clip here so it's touching one side and then the other side is touching the other. It just wouldn't go. It wouldn't go. I did this like maybe three times just off camera. You guys didn't see it, but couldn't get it lit. I even tried an SD's igniter in here. That wouldn't even light it. The igniter burnt and it didn't go, so... I don't know. This may just be maybe a bad engine. Just I know it's old. I know it's old. But yeah, it would not go. It would not go. So yep, Quest in a division of Toy um Toy Biz, Yuma, Arizona, made in Germany Germany, assembled in Mexico. But yeah, I couldn't get my UFO or flying saucer saucer off the ground today. But we will be revisiting all this. This will be painted. I'm gonna paint this silver and detail it. I think it'll look nice in silver, so but yeah, that's this video, guys. Be sure to check the links below. Check my website, shopsdsrockets.com. Also, um, use the discount code IN underscore 321. Put some stuff in your cart. And at the, when it's time to check out, you'll see a box. Put the code in and get yourself a discount on whatever you shop for. This is MyRock321, and we will check you on uh, another video.